Hi, I'm Suzanne, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. Welcome to my weekly Monday Makes video on my blog and YouTube channel. The card designs I share today are simple, fun, and easy to recreate. I also sell the products I feature in this video. I hope you enjoy my free video tutorial and would love to see you shop with me. For today's card, I'm featuring the Christmas Gleaming Bundle. This bundle is 10% off on page 31 of the holiday catalog. It includes the stamp set plus the two punches. I have here a strip of Seaside Spray cardstock and I'm inking up the smaller ornament image with the Seaside Spray ink. And now I'm punching it out with the smaller punch. And I have two more colors. This is Melon Mambo. And I'm stamping with this one larger design ornament. And then this is Highland Heather. And now I'm going to do uh, punch them all out. Now I don't need nine bulbs for my card design. I decided to make three cards of the same design because sometimes it's a little easier when you are making Christmas cards to do it what we call mass production. But this might not be mass production on a massive scale, but it is for one human being. <laughs> I've seen people do 50 actually of cards. So it's easy when you just go through and do the steps, but just multiply the amount of work you're doing. I'm inking up the stamp with my Stampin' Write markers. This is a unique way of getting ink on a red rubber or affordable polymer stamp for that matter, and being able to use two different colors. So I used Highland Heather and Melon Mambo. And I just chose to use my Stamparatus. You don't have to. You could use your just an acrylic block. And some people like to breathe the breath of life on their uh, red rubber stamps. I find I, it's not necessary. I did ink up in between each of those card fronts though. So I wasn't just generational stamping I was actually inking I just didn't include that in the video because I thought you would think it would be boring so here are my three card faces and this is the purple posy ink made a nice uh, return to our store and I wanted to feature it so I am using the cardstock purple posy as well. So I'm just pulling in a little bit of that purple posy in my card. So here we are with Seaside Spray and I'm using the little, it's kind of like little speckles. I quite love this little, I love the little speckle stamps. Back in the day, it was, uh, there was a stamp set called Gorgeous Grunge that I just really liked. <laughs> it had some really amazing uh, speckles. Okay, so here's my Purple Posy uh, card stock, and I'm just using Tombow glue or multi-purpose glue and adhering the card fronts to the card bases. And you just need a little line about a quarter of an inch in and carefully applying it, wiggling it into place, and then smoothing it down. All right, so now I have the card fronts all right and I can apply the ornaments. I'm putting down the Melon Mambo first and then I will go into the Highland Heather second and my third bulb I will, or ornament I should say, I will pop up on dimensionals and apply that over the two. I could have zhuzhed this design up a little bit by maybe uh, on or maybe a bow, um, a small bow on each of the ornaments, but this was, I just zhuzhed it up a little bit with my rhinestones. I think they, it created a gleaming effect, <laughs> if you will, as part of the pun uh, for these cards. And that is how easy it is to mass produce with this bundle. 
I am using my bone folder to fold and those are my simple mass production cards to share with you today. Thank you for watching and bye for now. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. On screen are two more videos for inspiration. Click on the Maple Leaf for my blog or click on me to subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching.